Hey chickies, okay today we're doing another turquoise mani. I'm using Fool's Gold which is a new collaboration shade with Picture Polish and the Nailosaurus. I will put all of the details in the description box as per usual. Let's get into it, I really hope you like it. Now as I mentioned before we are using Fool's Gold which already has tiny little gold flecks in it so we don't need a gold polish for this, we just need a turquoise colour and a black. Now to protect the skin around my nails today, I'm using Isadora's Peel Off Base Coat. You can make your own of this, it is so easy. Just go and get some non-toxic craft glue from your local craft store, add a little bit of water to it and paint it on your skin around your nails. You can also paint it as a base coat on your actual nail, especially when you're using glitter polishes. Wait for it to dry and you'll know it's dry when it's completely clear and then you can just peel it straight off. I'm using a hand sanitizer spray for this, but you can use hairspray or isopropyl alcohol as well. If you're using hairspray, I would suggest you don't use a pressurized can or you might blow your polish out of the water. The water itself is very similar to a water marble water. It's not warm, not cold. You just want to put two drops of the polish or the black polish into the water, then spray with your hand sanitizer or your hairspray and dip your nails in. And it's as simple as that. It's really, really easy and it gives such a cool effect. I just love the turquoise mani, I could do them every day. Now if you don't have a polish like Fool's Gold which has already got the gold in it, in order to complete your turquoise mani you will need to then come back in with a gold polish and do exactly the same thing as you did with the black polish. And the next step is to remove that peel off base coat. Just remembering that you should probably let that uh, polish dry before you try and do that or you might, might muck up your design. You don't want to do that. Now I probably should have taped up my fingers because it appears or, or painted the underside of my fingers because I got a lot of polish everywhere else except for just around my nails. So I use just use a cotton swab and some non acetone remover to remove all of that. Did, however, start with a brush and then realised that it was just going to take too long. So yeah, I got it cotton swab out. And next, the very fast job of just quickly cleaning up the very small amount of polish just around my nails. And then seal everything in with a good quality top coat. I'm using Sesh Feet as per usual and links will be in the description box about that. And that's it. I really hope you like this one. It's one of my favourite things to do. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, chickies. Oh, and thank you for subscribing. And thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.